Hello guys and welcome back to the Crazy Minecraft video where today we're going to go ahead and explore this wonderful zoo where the villagers have gone ahead and invited us for a last minute emergency. They want us to go ahead and spawn loads of animals today because I don't think there's any animals around. Villagers, what's going on? I will go ahead and help you and hopefully this wonderful book should explain everything. Let's go and see what it says. Hello Naveed. We have just opened our zoo, but all the animals have escaped overnight. We need your help in spawning some new ones before anyone notices they're gone. Quickly, before we get shut down. Wait, is that why you need us to go ahead and spawn every single one of these items? Okay, I'm going to take out as many as I can, and hopefully they won't be dangerous. And I think they've even given us a wonderful wolf cape to wear. Let's go see what it looks like. Oh, <laughs> look, we've got a cool tail. This is so amazing. Okay, let's go ahead and empty out this chest and we should be done in no time. Oh, uh, we've only got one more item to take out. We can go ahead and just spawn one right here. Like, let's do our squill. Oh, and cool. There's different types. That's why they've gone ahead and given us two different spawners. And these squills are so awesome. Well, let's go and take out our last item, and let's go ahead and do this as fast as we can. Villagers, don't you guys worry. Um, there's loads of things around. I'm going to go ahead and spawn them. Ah, oh, hi back to you. Well, let's go ahead and do this as fast as we can, and let's go see what we've got. Inside our wonderful little farm area, I'm going to spawn two amazing butterflies. Ah, oh, look at them. They're now going to enjoy all of these plants, and hopefully find a wonderful spot to go ahead and spawn so many more of them. Well, let me go in and keep on going, and let me do, let's see what else we got. We've got some walruses, which I'm not really sure where we can spawn them. Maybe some of them can be spawned inside our wonderful glass biome. Here we go. Let's go inside, and perfect, and let's go ahead and spawn our songbirds. There we go, and perfect. <laughs> wow, I think they're going to love it in here, and thankfully, they can't fly away anywhere dangerous. Do you know what? Maybe I should go ahead and spawn all the birds in here. I think that'd be a great idea. I think we've only got a couple. Um, let me do the turkey, and then let's also do the dragonfly. And I actually think that might be it. Here we go. Let's spawn the dragonfly on this lily pad. Oh, and if you can't see it, they've literally just flown away. They are so small. And let's also go ahead and do our two turkeys. Hopefully, they won't go ahead and eat our dragonflies. Well, let's go ahead and get out of here. And let's keep on going by spawning the rest of our mobs, hopefully in a wonderful spot. Oh, okay, I think I found it. The next spot is going to be right inside this water. Now, the only thing I am hoping is hopefully that we can go ahead and maybe spawn some whales. Let me go ahead and do this. I'm going to jump inside the water. I'm perfect. And let's go ahead and spawn one whale and two whales. Oh, cool. <laughs> These guys are going to like this. Oh, okay, let's get out of here as quickly as we can. We've gone ahead and been stung. Hopefully, we won't die. Let me see what else we got. I'm going to spawn on this beach our walruses, and I think that's going to be great as well. Quickly, before anything goes ahead and gets us. No, <laughs> this isn't good. Ah, Let's go ahead and do this. Let me spawn two walruses right around here. And perfect. Hopefully now they can enjoy this wonderful biome and enjoy the water as well. Let's go see what other animals we've got. So we've got some piranhas as well as, let me do, let's see what we've got. We've got so many different types. We've got the flying fish, also the lamprey. And I also think we've got some other items like the octopus, the horseshoe crab, as well as the shark. And then maybe some other animals like the freshwater eel. And perfect. Okay, let's go ahead and do this. I'm going to spawn our two piranhas right around here. And let's go see what they look like. Oh, there they are. <laughs> Hopefully they won't bite us. Yep, they're biting us. Quickly, let's get out. Oh, what a dangerous animal. Let's also spawn two flying fish that I hope will stay around here. Ah, oh, they look so amazing as well. This is just too good to be true. Let's also spawn two lampreys right around here. Let's do one. Oh, sorry. Let me push you in. And perfect. And two. Ah, they're kind of thin, but I'm hoping the walruses can enjoy this. Ah, stupid piranhas. They're trying to go ahead and eat us. How about I go ahead and spawn some octopuses to go ahead and get rid of them? There we go. <laughs> look at these guys. I'm hoping they will go ahead and enjoy this wonderful space. Oh, and look, the baby turtles have been born. This is amazing. I really hope we can go ahead and keep on going. But I think the octopus has different ideas. Yep, I told you. But let me just go ahead and take out our giant squid as well as our crab. And let's just sort our colossal squid and then also our saltwater eel. And then we've also got some jellyfish. Do you know what? Let me just go ahead and spawn them wherever I find some water and hopefully this can be a good spot. I think all the villagers are going to be so excited. 
but I'm a little bit scared. I'm not really sure we're going to have enough time to go in and test out every single one of these mobs. I do want to spawn the colossal squids right inside this little biome here. This is going to be the perfect little spot. But for this, we are going to need our ladder. So let me go ahead and climb up. And perfect. Let's go ahead and add our ladders right on the outside. So if we ever need to go ahead and just jump in, we should be alright. Here I come. Let's do this. Perfect. Let me spawn two of our giant squids. And there they go. Whoa, they are massive already. I don't think the dolphins are going to go ahead and enjoy this. Okay, I'm a little bit scared. We are such in trouble right now. How about I go ahead and spawn our colossal squids right around here. Whoa, and they're even bigger. Okay, let's try and swim away as fast as we can. This is going to be one of the craziest days ever. Whoa, they are so big. I'm a little bit scared to be in here right now. And we won't even have a spot to go ahead and get out. So let me just go ahead and build our ladder right now. And perfect. Oh, this has been so great, but I'm going to go ahead and get out of here before they go and eat us. Villagers, you now have some water creatures. I'm hoping that's good enough for them, guys. And let's keep on going, and let me go inside this flower biome, and let's go and do this. For this, sadly, I'm going to have to break my way in because there's no other way to get in here for now. And let me go ahead and spawn our badger that loves the honey, as well as our brown bear. These guys are going to love this honey so much. Let me go ahead and spawn them right around here. We've got one bear, two bears, and then two badgers. And perfect. See? <laughs> these guys are going to love all this honey, and hopefully they'll enjoy their time so much. Even these brown bears look kind of scary. But you know what? Let's just give them some space for now. I'm kind of scared. Let's get out of here as fast as we can, and let's go and see what else we've got. Villagers, this has been amazing so far, but I'm kind of scared that we won't have enough time to go ahead and spawn every single one. But I have found some more water. So let me go and spawn our saltwater eels right around here. And perfect. And there we go. They'll go ahead and hide inside the midst of this water. Well, so far this has been awesome. Oh, there's a critter. Where? Nope, I don't see anything. Well, let's just keep on going and let's give those villagers some space. They are in the middle of nowhere. And we do have a few more water areas to go ahead and spawn the rest. So, let me go ahead and jump around here and let's spawn our horse shoe crab spawner. Let's jump in and perfect. Let's go and do this. And there we go. See, they look so amazing. I'm kind of scared though. Let me also go ahead and spawn our crabs right around here. And perfect. And look at these guys. <laughs> the little snappers. I think slowly by slowly we're going to have the best little water biome ever. We've also got some freshwater eels as well as some jellyfish. Let me spawn these right around there. Oh, the jellyfish just got me. Let's go and see where he is. I can't see him right now. Oh, there's the jellyfish. I knew we could find him. Okay, let's get out of here before we go ahead and get eaten. And come on, we have to get out of here as fast as we can. And perfect. Let's go and do this. Let's go over to the other side. And good. And let's spawn our sharks right around here. This is going to be great. One and two. Whoop. Whoa, they're jumping around. And there's a villager inside the water. Villager, no. And a shark has got us. Oh, what an awful day. Do you know what? I'm just going to spawn the rest of these. And hopefully we can find out a good spot. I'm kind of scared though. Let me spawn our moose right as you come into the zoo. And let me do one and two. There we go. Okay, I think they're going to go ahead and jump over this fence. It's definitely not small enough. And let's also go ahead and maybe spawn some feral wolves. Maybe in this little biome, maybe around here. Ah, oh, this is going to be a good one. Okay, let's go ahead and spawn it right inside this biome. And I think the entrance is right around the corner. Villagers, how are you all finding it right now? This has been the most amazing thing ever. And I can already see so many villagers checking out the snowman. But I'm kind of scared maybe this is not going to be a good spot. Um, villager, I'm just going to have to go ahead and maybe break our way through. I am so sorry about this. I just won't be able to find a spot of the opening. Let me go ahead and spawn these two guys right around here. And look at them. They look kind of scary. Quickly, let's get inside. And perfect. <laughs> Hopefully, whoa, they're trying to go ahead and eat us. This is not going to be a good day. Okay, villager, be very careful. I'm going to get out of here before they go ahead and eat me. Oh. Thankfully, they are with some snowmen. So if they attack anyone or any of the villagers, the snowmen will defend them. Okay, let's not give up right now and let's keep on going. So far, this has been so amazing and I'm so looking forward to going ahead and testing out some more. Let me go inside the mushroom biome and let's go and see if we can do this. Can you guys see an entrance? Now, I can see loads of mushrooms in there, but I'm kind of scared if with whatever we spawn, it might kill them. So let's just go ahead and try our best right now. Let's open this. And then open this. 
Let me go and spawn the goose right around here. And perfect. And they're not going to take the mushrooms whatsoever. Let me also go and spawn our bobbit worm. Oh, what is that? That's definitely not real. Wait, that shouldn't be inside a zoo whatsoever. Let's be very cautious. No, it's killed them. Okay, let's go ahead and spawn the boars and maybe these guys will go ahead and defend us. These bobbit worms aren't good at all. Oh, it's gonna work. Nope, not working. Okay, let's go ahead. Let's spawn our next animal, which is gonna be so cool. And then our two tarantulas. And let's get out of here, quickly, before they get us. Okay, um, have we got anything to defend ourselves? Nope, please, please don't come out. I don't wanna kill you. No! <laughs> this isn't good. Okay, let's go ahead and try and kill them as fast as we can. Oh, quickly, before they go ahead and attack all the villagers. Perfect and good. Oh, I knew we could do it. Villagers, be very cautious. Let me go ahead and keep on going. What? Everyone's attacking us. This isn't good. Even the little baby boar. We are taming and breeding these animals, but they're just well too dangerous. We have literally pork chopped them. Okay, let's not give up now, and let me just go in and find a different spot to spawn the last few monsters, like our reindeers. These guys are going to be friendly, so I can spawn them wherever I want. And let's also go ahead and spawn, let's see, we've also got two deers. There we go. This is going to be a perfect combination for all of us. And let me go and spawn two coyotes right around here. I'm perfect. And I'm really hoping these guys will tame and breed themselves so we can have so many more mobs. Okay, let's spawn our barracudas right around here. I'm perfect. And hopefully these guys can defend us. And let's also spawn our lamingers right around there as well. And finally, we've also got two black bears. Whoa, they're massive. But I'm kind of scared right now. If they manage to get themselves out, they might kill all the villagers. But I think we've done it. We've gone ahead and spawned so many cool mobs today. And it's been absolutely amazing. And now all the villagers are loving their life. And slowly by slowly filling themselves up. This is going to be amazing. Villager, can I have now some snacks? I might be able to find you a few items. And hopefully we can get some snacks. Well guys, I will see you in the crazy Minecraft video. And don't forget to like this video. Subscribe down below button is red. And don't forget to go ahead and press notifications bell. And guys, I'll see you very soon. Peace out. Hello guys and welcome back to the crazy Minecraft video where today, Marco Friendly Zombie has gone ahead and sent us to this wonderful zoo. We have a feeling the villagers need our help in going ahead and spawning loads of Alex mobs, but they have no idea how to do it. So, let's go see what's inside the chest and hopefully we can figure it all out together. Now they have given us quite a few. So we've got one chest full of all the water creatures and then another one with all the land creatures. I think this is going to be great. Well, let's go see what this book says and hopefully we can figure out what we need to do. Hello Navid, I am really glad you have come to help us spawn all these Alex mobs. We are worried some could be dangerous. Figure it out which ones we can keep without harming any of our villagers. Of course, I would love to. Well, do you know what? Let me go ahead and put this back and let's see what mobs we have. I might actually go ahead and start with our water creatures and we can figure out if every single one of them are really friendly. Well, let's go and do this and hopefully we can do it as fast as we can. I'm going to jump inside. I'm perfect. And let me go and spawn our first one, which is going to be the hammerhead shark. Whoa, there he is. And he's coming straight for us. <laughs> We're going to have to swim away as fast as we can. I'm a little bit scared, though, that maybe this shark might go ahead and try and spook us. Maybe we can spawn some friends with him. Let me go ahead and do our crocodile right around here. And good. <laughs> And let's try and get away from this guy as well. This is going to be the most dangerous tank I have ever been in. And I think the crocodile is coming straight for us. Okay, I think we're all good for now. Let me go in and spawn our catch a lot well right around here. Whoa, and look how massive it is. This guy is going to fill up this whole tank. I am so glad though that we have enough space for every single one of them. I can still see the crocodile is trying to get our scent. Let's be really cautious right now. Let me also go ahead and spawn our mimic octopus. Oh, look how cute it is. It will go ahead and change colors depending on what blocks are right underneath it. So if it sees maybe a different block, it will go ahead and morph into it. This is so cool. Okay, do you know what? I'm going to try and get out of here and let me try and spawn these creatures as fast as we can. I think the whale is trying to protect us. What's happened? Is something wrong? Okay, let's try and get out of here as fast as we can. And let me go ahead and spawn our frill shark. There we go. And perfect. Oh, look at it. <laughs> And I think the whale is not very pleased with this. Oh, it's trying to get out of here. Let me go and do our mantis shrimp right around here. Cool. 
Now, I'm not really sure what to expect from this creature, so let's keep an eye on it. And let's also jump back in, and let's do our orca. There we go. I knew this would work. This is exactly what I want to see. But I do think that Mantis Shrimp is getting really mad. <laughs> Everyone, be really careful. There are well too many dangerous creatures in here. And we've still got so many more to go ahead and do. Let me spawn our lobster right around here. And there we go. It'll make his way down to the bottom. And I think the orca is going straight after it. Let me do our cosmic cod right around here. Oh, it's just teleported. What a weird creature. How did the villagers get these ones? Okay, something just died. Oh, it's the orca. Cool. Okay, can we ride it? Sometimes you can actually ride some of these creatures if you get the right saddle. So let me just go ahead and spawn our seal that I'm going to spawn right around here. There we go. I knew he would like the land. This guy is going to go ahead and fall asleep really quick. How about we go and do our comb jelly right around here. There we go. As well as our strad pole <laughs> that I think is falling straight down to the bottom. Also our platypus right around here. And then we've also got our blue jay. This is going to be so awesome. Now I do know we have an alligator snapping turtle, which I don't think actually wants to be by the water. So let me spawn in by this little sandbank around here, and this should be great. There we go! And then we can also go ahead and spawn our little seagull, and perfect, as well as our blue jay right around here. And these guys will make this whole biome so much better. Let's just take out the last few that we have, and hopefully this can work. What was that? Can you guys hear that? I think there are some creatures that we're not supposed to have around here. Let me go and do our blobfish right around here. And perfect. Let's push him in the water. <laughs> and then our catfish. Let's push this guy in the water as well. And then we've also got our flying fish. Let's push him in. Come on. No. Quickly before he dies. There we go. And you'll go ahead and fly around and keep everyone really busy. There he goes. <laughs> this is so cool. Let's do our straddler right around here. Oh, definitely not friendly. What is that thing? Okay, I have no idea what's going on. It's going ahead and shooting blobfishes at us. How about we do our giant squid and then that'll be the last of them. There we go. Hopefully now we can get out of here. Oh, has it got us? Oh, I think the whale has gone ahead and eaten him that quick. <laughs> oh, look how hungry he is. Okay, maybe we should try and get out of here as fast as we can. I'm a little bit scared right now. And we've also got our straddler who's throwing loads of blocks at us. These blobfishes are going to be really annoying. Okay, let's try and get out of here as fast as we can. Let's take out the rest of our items and hopefully this can work out for us. I'm a little bit scared though that every single one won't even fit in inside our inventory. So let me just take out as many as we can. There we go. I'll be right back, villagers. <laughs> our straddler is getting really annoyed right now. And he's fighting against the mantis shrimp. Ah, he didn't even make it. Hey, let's get out of here. Okay, I'm going to rush over to a new spot. And let me start off with our grizzly bear. I might spawn them randomly. Huh. Villagers, what do you guys think? Should I just spawn huh. them around randomly? Or is there like a right spot to go ahead and put huh. them? Maybe if we travel around, we might be able to figure this out. So let me jump right in here. And perfect. Oh, I think this is for pandas. So this might be a good spot for our grizzly bear. And perfect. And then maybe another one. Hey, stop it, grizzly bear. No. <laughs> oh, it instantly killed us. Oh, this is awful. Well, maybe we keep on going. We should be able to avoid him next time. Villagers, don't go near that one over there. It's really dangerous. And I can see some other villagers have gone ahead and jumped inside the little cages. This is not going to be good. Villager, what are you doing inside? This is where I need to spawn all the monsters. Let me go ahead and spawn our leaf cutter right around here. And then we've also got, let's do our kangaroo. Oh, and look how awesome it is. This is going to be so amazing. I am so excited for these. We've also got our moose. And perfect. And then we're also going to go ahead and spawn our emu. There we go. All of these guys together are going to be so nice. Should we spawn a dangerous creature and see what happens? Let me spawn my tiger. There we go. Whoa, look at him. Oh, is he sleeping? Hey, or is he trying to hide? Oh, he was trying to hide and hunt us. No, <laughs> get off me. This is not going to be good. Oh, what an awful day. We have died well too many times. But you know what? Let me take out the rest of our spawners and let's go and do this. Okay, so we got our orca, and I think our well has died as well. Ugh, this is awful. Okay, let's try and get out of here. This is going to be well too sad. We've spawned so many creatures, and very few of them have made it. Let me find a new biome right around here. I think this is going to be a great spot. And maybe we can spawn some friendly ones. 
Let me go and spawn our elephant right in the middle. So whenever all the villagers want to ride it, they can go ahead, ride up to it, and they can feed it. I think that's a great idea. Let me also do our Jaleda monkey that can go ahead and use the minecart system to pretty much roam around. There we go! <laughs> okay, not friendly either, I don't think. I think he might be getting mad. How about we spawn our mud skipper? There we go. And then our caiman. Oh, okay. Hopefully he goes towards the water and leaves us all alone. Yep, I think we're good for now. Let's get out of it quickly. And let me go and spawn maybe our anaconda and our gorilla in some other spots. Oh, in here. Perfect. Okay, let me go and do this. So we've got our gorilla as well as our anaconda. And both of them together could be a very good match. But let me take out some more spawners. Uh-oh. It's coming right towards us. Villagers, get out of here. It's not going to be good. It's strangling us. This is exactly what we don't want right now. Get away, villagers. Run. Ah, oh, what a crazy day. Maybe if we spawn some other creatures, they can go in and distract them so all the villagers can make it out. Let me spawn our gazelle right around here as well as our shoe bill and perfect and then we've also got our anteater there we go all of these creatures are really friendly and they won't attack our villagers and then let me also do our murmur huh what is that this is not what i want it to be ah run <laughs> okay let's get out of here villagers why did you give me that spawner it's well too dangerous and it's coming straight towards us um can i hit it back okay it seems like it's some sort of creature to go ahead and keep all the animals tamed. Okay, let's get out of here. I don't want to be part of that. Let me spawn inside our farm, maybe our raccoon. So let me go right around here. And perfect. And let me spawn our raccoon inside this next little biome. So we've got our raccoon as well as our leviathan. Huh? What is that? Okay, that doesn't belong in our zoo. How about we go ahead... Ah, oh, it's trying to sit on me. <laughs> Maybe it's because I'm really warm. Let's also go ahead and do our Jerboa right around here. And then I've also got our Bison. And then our Tasmanian Devil. Hey, Bison, don't do this. It's not good for us. I think every single animal is just really scary. Every single one wants to attack us. Look, if we get a little bit closer, and he'll just go ahead and try and fight us. Can I ride him, though? Nope. <laughs> I'm trying to ride him, and it's not going to work. Okay, let's not give up right now, and let's try and avoid the creatures from before. Okay, I think we're good. Quickly, let's sneak around. Hopefully, we can make it around this zoo without anything trying to destroy us. Now, thankfully, we don't have anything to tame and feed these animals just yet. But maybe very soon, the villagers will give us enough spawners so we can go ahead and do it. So, let me take out a whole new row of items, and let's see what we've got. I'm going to go ahead, and let's do... Let's try and get inside here, and let's make sure this works. Um, oh, here we go. So we jump up here and good and let's go and do this Let me do my crow right around here as well as our rattlesnake our skunk There we go and then our terrapin Cool and then our sunbird What what is that? Maybe it's because we don't have enough birds. They've just gone ahead and added a few different ones We've also got our tussling which is gonna be so cute <laughs> Run! It's gonna try and attack us this whole time. This is not gonna be great and surprisingly, he's actually catching up to us. We won't be able to attack him. Maybe we spawn someone else to go ahead and fight him back. Ah, oh, what a crazy day. Well, we've never actually tried to go straight through. So let me try and do this as fast as we can. Villagers, I have spawned so many Alex mobs that as of right now, I'm just so surprised. Ah, oh, here are all the villagers. Let me spawn some items for them. Let me do our rhinoceros. And there we go. Whoa, and look how big he is. And he is so muscular. Let's also do, let's see what else we have. Hopefully we can spawn some that are really friendly. Let me do our hummingbird. And perfect, as well as our fly. <laughs> and there we go. And let's also do our toucan. And then we've also got our, let's see, our capuchin monkey. There we go. And as he runs off. And then we've also got, oh, all the rest are very dangerous. Let's do our sugar glider. There we go. This guy will climb up really high and glide down as we go along. And then maybe the rest of these creatures we can spawn as fast as we can away from all of these villagers. Quickly, let's go and do it in a brand new spot. Um, let me see. Ah, this is the perfect spot for them. Let me do our tarantula hawk right around there. And then our roadrunner. And then also we've got our bald eagle. I'm perfect. And I hope that they won't attack us. Stay very quiet. We should be able to avoid them. And we've also got our maned wolf. And then our Komodo dragon. 
and then our snow leopard. There we go. No, they're attacking each other. This is not what I wanted. Snow leopard, I just spawned you. Leave us alone. <laughs> okay, let's get out of it before something really dangerous happens. Well, guys, I'm hoping all the villagers will be really happy with how many monsters we've spawned today. I think they're all trying to avoid us, though, which is not good for us. I think they're all trying to get involved with the farming to make sure all these animals in the zoo are completely fed and then hopefully be taken care of. So guys, I will see you soon with a crazy Minecraft video. And don't forget to like this video, subscribe down below, button is red, and don't forget to go ahead and press notifications bell. And guys, I'll see you all very soon. Peace out. Hmm, where's the exit? Hello guys and welcome back to the crazy Minecraft video where today the villagers have gone ahead and invited us to their protected village where I have a feeling they've gone ahead and built this wall for a very specific reason. Hello? Any villagers? Oh, I think I found them all. Okay, let's make sure we keep them very safe by closing our doors and let's go and see what they want. I have a feeling they've gone ahead and given us two chests with some very unusual items. Villagers, this is going to be great. I can't wait to go ahead and help you guys. So let me go see what they want us to do, and hopefully we should be able to get started. Oh, so they've given us a full diamond set, as well as a wonderful book. Let's go and see what it says. I have a feeling it's going to explain everything we need to do today. Hello, Naveed. We are so glad you are safe. We had to build this giant wall around our village to protect us against evil animals. We managed to snatch some spawners. Can you figure out if they are safe or not? Wait, are they leaving it up to us? Okay, I have a feeling right inside the other chest we're going to be able to go ahead and figure out exactly what's in there. So we have loads of spawners? Okay, this is going to be insane. I can't wait to go ahead and see exactly what we've got. And I'm going to take out every single random one. And we can come back and take out the rest. Well, villagers, I hope you're ready for this. I'm not really sure if some of them are going to be dangerous or some of them are going to be friendly. But we might as well get started. So let me go ahead and spawn the first one right in the center, which is going to be our mongoose. Huh? What is this thing? Okay, it kind of looks like an evil minion, but I know he's not. But I don't think we can do anything else with him. Ah, uh, okay, I'm going to have to go in and keep an eye on him and make sure he doesn't fight any of our villagers. Because if he does, that'll be the worst thing ever. Okay, let's keep on going and let me go and spawn our lobster right inside the water. Ah, uh, he is so cute. I am so glad not every single one of these animals are going to be really dangerous. But we still have so many more to go ahead and do. So let me jump on this boat as fast as we can. And let me go ahead and spawn our hammerhead shark. Ah, oh, awesome. So now the villagers have some very unusual monsters. And hopefully these sharks should be able to keep every single dangerous mob away. Villager, get out of the water. This is not going to be good. I don't think they know exactly what's in it. We might need to go ahead and help them out before they get eaten up. Okay, quickly. Villagers, don't you worry. I'll go ahead and clear that open for you guys. Oh, perfect. I'm so glad we saved them. But do you know what? Let me go and spawn our blobfish right inside. And perfect. And look at him. He does actually look like a blob. It is so cool. But do you know what? We still have so many more to go ahead and do. So let me spawn our crow right in the center. And perfect. Okay, he's going to fit in perfectly. And let's also go ahead and spawn our spectre. <gasps> It's some sort of spirit animal, and I think he's dangerous. Okay, we're going to be really cautious of this one. He might try and go ahead and kill our villagers. So let's just leave him around there, and if he attacks us, we should fight him back. Whoa, he is so quick as well. Well, I'm going to go ahead and spawn our crimson mosquito. Ah, wait, it's sucking our blood. Okay, this is not good. Perfect. Ah, oh, That was awful. The villagers are going to be so glad we killed that one. But you know what? I'm going to go ahead and spawn our grizzly bear right inside here. Cool. Ah, oh, he looks so awesome. But he could be dangerous. So let me actually go ahead and block him in. I go in and put some dirt around here. Okay, I'm not sure if that's going to keep us safe. But no matter what, we shouldn't let him out. Let's hope this next fly isn't as dangerous as the previous one. So I'm going to go ahead and spawn our fly right around here. And look how awesome he looks. Okay, that's pretty cool. Maybe I can go ahead and do the next one, which is going to be our hummingbird. Ah, that's another really awesome one. And I guess we've got a few other ones to go ahead and do. Let me do our kangaroo right in the center. That I'm kind of excited to figure out if we can ride him or not. It would be so cool if we can. And we should also go ahead and do the capuchin monkey right in the center. Ah, he is so cool as well. And let me also go ahead and do our elephant right around here. And I think the villagers are going to be so glad we've done this. Villagers, I'm so sorry I'm spawning every single monster in the center. But this is the best place for them. Okay, let me go and do our Guster. Oh, 
Wait! Definitely not friendly! Okay, we're gonna have to go ahead and kill this guy. I'm so sorry. Perfect. And good. Are we close? I think we've done it. But what did he give us? Ah, oh, just loads of sand. That's not very good whatsoever. Let me throw in all these items for the villagers. And let me also go ahead and spawn a Cachalot well. Which I don't think we have the space for it. Okay, let me just go and try and figure out where we can put this. Villagers, do you know where we can put a well? Maybe we have to go ahead and find some bigger water out here somewhere. Um, anything? Nope, nothing that I can see. Okay, let's get out of here as fast as we can. I'm gonna have to go ahead and spawn our well outside of the city. We have no choice but to go ahead and do it. And on the way out, let me take out some more spawners. Aha! Uh -huh, I think I found a good spot. Let me just go ahead and do it right around here. I have a feeling just outside the walls would be a great spot for this guy. So let me spawn it right around here. And see, he's even too big for this area. This is not going to be good for us. Ah, oh, I feel so sorry for him. He's going to be so squished. But you know what? Let me get back into the village and let me spawn some more monsters. I can't wait to see what we've got next. But I have a feeling the next one is going to be a void worm. Whoa, it's a boss. Okay, this is not going to be good. And he's going to go and try and head, head and pretty much kill us. Maybe we should head inside as fast as we can. Is there any weapons for us? Oh, we have a golden apple. We could definitely use that right now. Um, villagers, how do we kill this guy? I think he's going to be pretty big. But trying to go ahead and kill him is going to be one of the hardest things ever. Whoa, here he comes. I think he's going to try and go ahead and teleport around. Oh, he's stuck. Perfect. I think that might be our chance to go ahead and try and fight him. I am so glad he's not doing it. Oh, here he comes. Okay, I'm kind of scared of this. Going ahead and trying to survive this is going to be one of the hardest challenges ever. Do you know what? I'm going to have to go ahead and get the villagers to kill him off later. And we can go ahead and spawn our next monster. Let me spawn in our pen our gorilla. I'm perfect. <laughs> this is awesome. How about we go ahead. Let's do our Komodo dragon right around here. And all the sheep can be his little bait. Okay, I think that's awesome. Let me also go ahead and do our strandler. Ah! Whoa! Wait, he's trying to go ahead and throw stuff at us. Let me go and try and kill him as fast as we can. Maybe having him locked in here might be our best bet. Perfect, we've done it. And he's gone ahead and spawned a little baby monster. Villagers, don't you guys worry. I'll go ahead and finish this off. Let me spawn our tarantula hawk. That's another giant little mosquito. Okay, let's do this as fast as we can. I'm going to have to go ahead and maybe kill these sheep if they get in our way. Ah, here he comes. Perfect, we've done it. Okay, that, I'm so glad of this. But for some reason, we have now got a delibitating stink. That's not going to be good for us. How about we do our bone serpent right inside there? And I think he's another dangerous one. I'm so glad we've spawned him right inside this little cage. How about we go ahead and do our bold eagle right around here. And then our little rattlesnake right inside the sheep's pen. Is he alright? Oh, there he goes. Ah! <laughs> Let's get out of here. This is not going to be good for us. Okay, I'm going to take out a few more spawners and let's go ahead and do this as fast as we can. We've still got so many more to go ahead and do. Let me do our Roadrunner and Perfect along with a Moose. Ah, oh, he's awesome! Do you know what? I like this guy. But we should definitely leave him alone. Sometimes it can be really dangerous. And I'm going to go ahead and figure out where to spawn some Tigers as well as our Mimic Cube. Huh? What is this? Oh, okay. Definitely not friendly. Let's go ahead and try and kill him if we can. Perfect. Oh, he's taking my items. <laughs> and he's going to go ahead and mimic us. This is not going to be safe. Quickly, we have to go ahead and try and kill him as fast as we can. It's going to be one of the hardest challenges. Oh, okay, I think we've done it. I'm so glad we survived this. But whilst we wait, let me go in and take out a few more spawners and hopefully we should be alright. Villagers, what do you think? Let me go and spawn a Stradpole right inside there with a raccoon right around here. Oh, he is so awesome. He will go ahead and take so many items for us and pretty much maybe look for the bins and stuff. I don't know. It'll be really awesome. And I can also take out some other items inside our chest. So let me take out every single one that we've got left. And let me throw in all the items we won't need anymore. And hopefully, we can do every single one. It's going to be so exciting. Okay, let's not waste any more time. And let me go and spawn our Tasmanian Devil right around here. And look at him. He is so cool. I am so glad we have these guys. And let me also go ahead and do... Let's see what else we can have. A platypus. Ah, oh, he is amazing. Okay, I need to go ahead and spawn some other dangerous monsters. Let me do our Ender Riofage right around here. Okay, definitely not friendly. I can just tell. Quickly! <laughs> Perfect! Oh, we've done it! Okay, that's really awesome. And I have noticed he has given us a really cool block. 
And let me also go ahead and spawn our field shark right around here. That doesn't look anything like what I thought it would look like. And let me go back to our pens and spawn some of our wonderful monsters. Okay, I think I'm ready. I'm gonna go ahead and let me spawn our tiger right inside here where I think the rattlesnakes and the bone serpents have gone ahead and destroyed themselves. Oh, we have a tiger! Okay, this is pretty cool. And I think for some reason we might be stuck. Let me also do our snow leopard right around here as well as our soul vulture. Ah, okay, not friendly, quickly. <laughs> oh no, he's thrown away. Um, let's be really cautious. He might try and leap down and try and get us. Maybe I can keep on going by doing our warp toad. There we go. <laughs> Look how big he is. Ah, oh, this is going to be so awesome. Do you know what? I think I'm ready to go ahead and test out some other ones. So let me take out a whole new row and let's just spawn them everywhere. The villagers are going to have to go ahead and kill them themselves. Oh, and the soul vultures back. Okay, let's actually hurry up as fast as we can. And let me do our sunbird right around here. Whoa. This is so awesome. And I think he's trying to go ahead and kill us as well. Watch out, quickly. <laughs> it's gonna blow. <laughs> this is so cool. How about we go ahead and do our cave centipede right around here as well. And it's absolutely massive. As well as our shoe bill. Oh, run. This is not gonna be good. We might have to go ahead and hide inside our house. And hopefully we can find some items to help us. Nope, nothing. Villagers, I need some better items. Maybe a golden carrot will do for now. Okay, let's get out of here now that we've got our carrot. Let me spawn our cockroach as well as our endergrade. Huh? Wait a minute. It looks like a flying pig. As well as our seal. And perfect. And then our alligator snapping guard. Oh, okay. Maybe it doesn't belong in the water. <laughs> and another monster trying to go ahead and kill us. Oh, this is the worst day ever. And I think even we've got some sort of dilapidating sunbird blessing. Let me eat up as fast as we can. And let me go ahead and spawn our mantis shrimp. He's definitely not going to be friendly. Ah, oh, cool. Look how awesome he looks. Okay, let's leave him there. He doesn't look friendly either. And the last few mumps we need to go ahead and take out are right inside here. Let me do them as fast as we can. So we've got our frost stalker as well as our mimic octopus. And then we've got our seagull, and then a crocodile, which is going to be pretty cool as well. And then our warped Moscow. That's going to be so crazy and massive. <laughs> okay, maybe we can actually go ahead and kill this guy. It'll be pretty awesome if we can see exactly what he will give us. Let's keep going. I'm so glad he'll drag us towards him. And I think even our crocodile has gone ahead and bitten us. No! <laughs> okay, this is awful. We're not going to be able to survive this. Maybe I can just spawn the last five mobs as fast as we can. Let me do our drop bear right around here. Oh, that doesn't look friendly either. This guy looks so scary. Maybe we can spawn an emu to make ourselves feel better. There we go. We've now got a wonderful emu. And our last few is our leaf cutter ant, which is going to be a pretty cool ant. There we go. And then even, let's do our gazelle. And then the giant monster that's not going to be inside, our orca. <laughs> there we go. We've done them all. Well, guys, I'm going to have to hide inside this house as fast as we can. And hopefully we can find some supplies. I might have to nick them all from the chest if I find something. Well, guys, I will see you soon with a crazy Minecraft video. And don't forget to like this video. Subscribe down below button is red. And don't forget to go ahead and press notifications bell. And, guys, I'll see you all very soon. I'm going to have to sneak out these windows. Let's be really quiet. Okay, I don't think they've seen us. So, guys, I'll see you all very soon. Peace out. Hello guys and welcome back to the Crazy Minecraft video where today the villagers have gone ahead and invited us to their brand new zoo where I think they need our help in going ahead and spawning some very unusual mobs which I'm a little bit worried about. Villagers, is everything okay? It seems like they're rushing around and have no idea what's going on. Okay, I think we need to go ahead and read their wonderful book and let's see what our mission is for today. Ah, perfect. Okay, let's go and see what it says. Hello Naveed, we have set up a zoo for all the animals who are needing a new home. We are so busy setting up for our grand opening, but have forgotten to spawn the animals. Help us! Ah, oh, of course, I would love to help. Okay, let me chug this back in, and I think they're just so busy they're going to keep to themselves today. Well, let me take out every single one of these spawners, or as many as we can, and we can come back for the rest, just in case they don't all fit in our inventory, which I think is going to be the case. Okay, let me go ahead and do this. I'm going to go ahead and start finding some wonderful spots to spawn every single one of these mobs, and hopefully we get it right and we spawn them in the right location. Well, I'm going to get started, and I'm going to spawn our first one, which is going to be our shoe bill. Let's go and see what it looks like. <gasps> cool. 
Oh, this is so awesome. These are the ones that make some very scary clacking sounds with their beak. But I'm not sure if they're friendly or not. Okay, I think we're all good for now. And I'm going to have to spawn on some friends because their biome is massive. Okay, let me go ahead and spawn our rattlesnake right around here. Oh, and let's stand back. <laughs> he might try and go ahead and eat us. Okay, we need to be very careful. And we've got to tell the villager to watch out as well. Villager, don't get too close. You might get eaten by the rattlesnake. And we should be able to go ahead and find some brand new spots for some other monsters like our gazelles. See, this is going to be so awesome today. We're going to spawn so many different mobs that I think slowly by slowly, we should be able to tame them and breed them and have some baby gazelles. Okay, this is going to be well too cool for us. Let me keep on going and let me spawn our roadrunner right around here as well as some wonderful flies for them. Wait, the roadrunners are killing the rattlesnakes. Hey, this is not what's supposed to happen. We're supposed to live as friendly mobs. <laughs> okay, he's running away because he knows exactly what's happening. And I'm not sure if the rattlesnake is going to survive this. Yep, I knew it. Okay, I think it's time for us to go ahead and escape this place before we get hurt ourselves. Um, I might have to go ahead and open this up. And let's just go ahead and jump over. And perfect. Come on, villagers. Get out. <laughs> it's not going to be good for us. We need to find a new biome and hopefully spawn the rest of these mobs without getting ourselves in danger. Okay, let's go see what this is. Ooh, insectin. This is the insect kingdom. Maybe right inside here, we could go ahead and spawn our orca. That would be a good spot. Okay, let's run right up to this and let's go see if we can do this. This is going to be so cool right now. I am looking for the entry point, which I think should be right around here somewhere. And perfect. Villagers, in case something happens, please don't leave me behind. I'm going to go ahead and spawn them right mm. around here. Okay, let's go see how big they are. Let's spawn one right around here. And perfect. And then our second one right on here as well. Look how happy they are. They are so happy to be alive. <laughs> I am so glad I took them out of that spawner. Hey, don't beat yourself. Stay inside the water. Okay, maybe it's not big enough. That's the only thing I'm worried about right now. Maybe we can spawn them some friends like our hummingbirds. And there we go. Shh, can you guys hear that? They love all the flowers around here. And they're going ahead and pollinating everything for us. There's going to be so many flowers around here. Okay, let me take out a few random spawners and let's see what we got. So we've got two wonderful kangaroos that I'm going to go in and spawn right on top. And perfect. And I think these should be pretty friendly. Okay. Let's keep on going because we've got so many more mobs to go ahead and do, like the Komodo Dragon. I think this is going to be a great one as well. Let me spawn them right around here. Oh, wait, he's poisoned us. This is not good. Hey, buddy, I, I don't really want to hurt you, but I think we might have to go ahead and do that. Ah, oh, villagers, you didn't tell me these monsters could be really dangerous for us. It's awful. Okay, maybe we shouldn't give up right now and we should keep on going and let's spawn, maybe in the Lion Kingdom, some more mobs right around here. So when people are eating, they can have a very nice look at them. Let's jump over and perfect. And let's go ahead and do them. I'm going to spawn. Let's do the emu right around here. And perfect as well as the crow. <laughs> There we go. So any junk that falls on the floor, the crows will go ahead and eat it and keep all the villagers really happy. And let me take out some other mobs like our platypus, which is going to be a great little scavenger. And then we can also do, oh, a capuchin monkey. See, this is awesome. I would love to go ahead and take one home. And let's do our moose. Whoa, these guys are massive, but I might have spawned them in the wrong biome. Maybe we can search around and find some different biomes to spawn the rest of our monsters, like our raccoons. <laughs> okay, keep them out the trash cans. This can't be good for us. And let's also do our grizzly bears. Ah, oh, they're attacking us. Of course they are. This is not going to be good. Run. <laughs> oh, this is awful. Maybe we spawned them in the wrong place. And we should take out some other items. Ah, oh, I thought they would have given us something to go ahead and keep. Well, let me go ahead and take out some more spawners. And let's see if they all fit inside our inventory now. And perfect. I think we're going to be all good. Well, let me head to a brand new biome and let's go and spawn the rest of these monsters. Welcome to the aquarium. Well, I should have gone ahead and spawned our orcas, but I guess it's too late now. Let me go ahead and spawn some more monsters right around here, like our alligators. I'm perfect. And let's also do our caimans right around here, as well as our crocodiles. I'm perfect. Okay, I know for sure these guys are going to want to jump in the water. Huh? They're fighting? 
Oh, they're fighting against the other mobs. The caimans. Okay, let's try and get out of here as fast as we can. They're following us, which can't be a good news for us. Maybe I can spawn some seals right around here. And perfect. And look at them. They're sleeping. But I don't think they should, especially with a crocodile right behind us. No, he's got us. He's trying to drag us in the water. Okay, let's try and swim away as fast as we can. And I think it's going to try and head straight towards us. <laughs> here he comes. No, this can't be good. Let's try and get away from this guy as fast as we can. Quickly, let's get up for some air. No, oh, he's spinning us around and trying to eat us up. Oh, this is awful. Villagers, you didn't tell me we were going to have to go ahead and fight so many dangerous mobs. Okay, let's head to a brand new spot again. And let's go spawn some more mobs. Welcome to the snow pen, where we can go ahead and spawn every single one of our little snowy creatures right around here. Oh, okay, be quiet. There might be some monsters in here already. Okay, let's go ahead and take out every single one that belongs in our biome, and let's go ahead and do this. So I'm going to take out our octopus, as well as our frilled shark, which I'm not sure if it belongs in this waters or not, as well as our seagull, and let's go... Oh! Our main wolf. Perfect. And let's go in and take out a few more. I think we should be pretty close in going ahead and doing them. So we got our snow leopard as well as our flying fish. That might be a good idea. And then we might also got our bold eagle. And then let's see what else we have. Oh, a cold water lobster. And then our giant squid as well as our blue jay. So let's go ahead and do this. I'm going to do our mimic octopus right around here. That will go ahead and blend into everything around us. Oh, they look so cool. And as soon as they go over the ice, they'll turn blue as well. Come on, buddy. Over here. Let's go ahead and do our frilled shark inside the water. Let's go ahead and do this right around here. Oh. Be very cautious. They are so scary looking. I don't even want to go in the water for them. Let's also do two seagulls, which is going to be pretty cool as well. And then our snow leopards. And look at them. They look so awesome. And let's also go ahead and do our flying fish right around here. And let's go and see what happens. And perfect. <laughs> look, they've got wings. Now, I think these sharks are maybe trying to live outside of water. But I'm not really sure. Let's also do our bold eagle. And perfect. Then we'll go ahead and kill the fish. But this can't be too good for us. And then let's do our lobsters right around here. And perfect. See, this is so cool. I knew exactly that this would work for us. And I think slowly by slowly, we should be able to win this over. And let's also do our giant squid somewhere around here. Which I think we can do after our main wolves. There we go. See, this biome is now set. And none of the monsters are fighting. I knew this would work. Okay, how do we get out of here ourselves, though? I need to find a way out. Oh, I think I found it. If we jump over here, try and get above this water, we should be all right. Okay, so I figured out how to do this. We have to go ahead and jump on here, jump over, and we are all right now. I knew there was a way out. Well, let's keep on going, and let's go ahead and spawn some mobs in our new biome right around here. Wait a second. How did the snow leopard get out? Maybe it's got some ultra jump or something. This is very confusing for us. But I do need to find a spot that we can go ahead and spawn our giant squid. We should have done it earlier inside that giant pool. But until then, let's spawn so many other cool mobs. I'm going to do our two elephants right around here. And they can roam around inside our wonderful world. It's going to be so crazy. Let's also do our sugar gliders. As well as our... Let's do our leaf cutters. And then our gelato monkeys. Cool. These are so crazy. Wait. Are they violent? Run. <laughs> They're fighting against each other. I think it's two alphas trying to control this one tree. Let's also spawn two tigers, which is going to be so cool to see as well. And then also two terrapins, which is not going to be good. Hey, get off us. Hey, buddy, stop it. No. Oh, this is awful. Every single time we find a new spot, we just die. Let's spawn two Tasmanian devils, which are going to be so cute. And then, let's go ahead and take out some more mobs. So far, we've done so many, but I can't believe we've still got so many left. Let me do a catfish to see what it looks like. And then also, let's do two anteaters. There we go. These guys are going to be so crazy. And look, the little baby one is on top of this one. It is so cute. Okay, let's keep on going right now. And let's go and see if we can do this. I'm going to spawn two mud skippers right around here. These guys are going to be so crazy. They will go ahead and turn all this grass into mud and live amongst it. I think it's going to be so cool. Well, maybe now's our chance to jump back in. Let's do two toucans as well as our gerbos. And perfect. And then also two gorillas. <gasps> Wait, one 
it's a baby one as well. They are so crazy. Okay, trying to survive this world now with all of these mobs is going to be very weird for us. Let me go and spawn two bisons, which is going to be so crazy as well. And then two ugly cockroaches. Ah! They're going to kill him. <laughs> it's going to be so cool. And we're down to our last few mobs. Nope. Let's get away from him. Quick. Let's run. Let me spawn the anacondas. Maybe this can go ahead and help us. Wait a second. Who's he after? I think he's after. Oh, no. A capuchin monkey. This is not good. Wait. He's on top of us. <laughs> he's trying to go ahead and strangle us. No. Oh, this is awful. Okay. Wait, everyone is out. The tigers are destroying the whole world. This is not good. How many get out of here? It's going to be crazy for us. I d I'm not really sure where I spawned them now. Maybe we keep on going. We should be able to get away from them as fast as we can. But whilst we do that, let me go and spawn two skunks. There we go. Hopefully they don't go ahead and stink us out. Look how they move. They are so cool. Well, let's get out of here. Let me go ahead and spawn two blue jays. And perfect. And these guys are just going to roam the skies. They're going to look so cute. And maybe we will go back to this little spot over here. We can spawn two rhinos. And perfect. And these guys are so mad. We've got to be very cautious with them. Well, let's keep on going. Let me go ahead and spawn some other monsters like our catfish, which I'm going to spawn right inside the water. And then we should be done. I think these guys are going to be so crazy. Let's jump right in. Let's spawn our two giant squids. And let's be very cautious of them. They are so massive. As well as our two hammer sharks and our catch -a lot whales. Let's go and see. Whoa, look at these guys. They're fighting the squids. <laughs> this is not good. And maybe they can go ahead and survive this. Look, the shark is so scared of them. He's had to get out of the water. And they survived it. Well, guys, I can't believe this. We've been able to survive our wonderful day inside our crazy world. And hopefully now all of these mobs should be ready for the villagers to open up the zoo. Well, guys, I might have to head out of here. I'm going to jump in my boat, get out of this place before this whale tries to catch up to us, which I think he's trying to eat us. So guys, I will see you soon with a crazy Minecraft video. And don't forget to like this video, subscribe down below button is red, and don't forget to go ahead and press notifications bell. And guys, I'll see you all very soon. Peace out. Hello guys and welcome back to the crazy Minecraft video where today, the villagers need our help in going ahead and spawning some wonderful mobs inside our zoo. We're having a feeling they have no animals whatsoever. Villagers, is that true? I've heard you have no animals to show for it and I'm pretty sure it's up to us to go ahead and spawn every single one. But before we do anything, let's go and read our wonderful book that the villagers have given us. Hello Naveed, we have opened a new zoo, but have no animals to show for it. We need for you to spawn all the mobs as we need to open in 30 minutes. Quickly, before the villagers get here. Wait, are they trying to say we only have 30 minutes to go inside and I'm guessing spawn every single one of our crazy items? And I can see they're all right inside here. Okay, I'm going to take out quite a few random ones and hopefully we can go in and see what we've got. I'm pretty scared though that we might encounter some dangerous villagers. Okay, let me do every single one. And perfect. Well, villagers, don't you worry. I'm going to go ahead and do this as fast as we can. And I'm pretty sure we need to go ahead and spawn them randomly absolutely everywhere. Oh, I think we've got our first visitor. Hello, villager. I've got some wonderful items for you. Let me go ahead and spawn our first one, which is going to be a capuchin monkey. Let's go see what he looks like. Ah, oh, he's awesome. Okay, whoa, he's going to be so cool. I'm pretty excited to go ahead and do this. And right inside the water, I am going to spawn our blobfish. Where is he? Oh, what's going on? Are they trying to attack him? <laughs> this is not good. Okay, I'm pretty scared right now. Maybe I can go ahead and spawn a kangaroo in here as well. And hopefully this can be great. Ah, oh, this guy is going to be so insane. And I think he's going to try and jump over. Villagers, run for your lives. This is not going to be a very good day for us. And I do need to find the water biome because we do have so many cool items. Okay, let me go inside this little compound right around here. And let's go and see what we have. Oh, it's for the parrots. Okay, let's go inside. And perfect. And let's go find some wonderful friends for all of our parrots. So I'm going to take out our toucan. Let's also take out, let's see what else we have. Oh, we have a bold eagle. And then let me just do a few random ones. Hopefully we can go ahead and do this. I'm also guessing we could spawn our Roadrunner. That might be a good shout right now. Okay, let me go and spawn these three. So we do have our wonderful Toucan right around here. Oh, that's our Bald Eagle. Okay, our Toucan is this one. There we go. And I think all of them together should be pretty decent. 
Let's also do our Roadrunner. That's going to be another wonderful bird. Ah, this is going to be awesome. Now, I'm kind of hoping our bold eagle won't actually attack any of our mobs. But as of right now, it does seem very curious. Okay, I'm going to leave them all be. I'm going to have to breed these guys and tame them all one at a time. Well, let me get out of here. I'm perfect. And I'm so glad all the doors closed behind us. Oh, there's a snowman in here. This is pretty much a wonderful biome. Do you know what? Let's go inside. I'm pretty sure I have some snow items that we could go ahead and spawn as fast as we can. Villagers, where's the entrance to this thing? It must be around the corner. Okay, I guess we could come back. Maybe we can go inside this desert biome and let's see what we have for this. So I'm going to take out the rhinoceros. Let's also take out... Um, let me see, we've got a Komodo dragon as well as a crocodile, and I think every single one should be pretty decent. I'm just trying to make sure we spawn them all inside the right location. And perfect, okay, I think we should be good. Well, let me go ahead and spawn our rhinoceros right around here. And cool, look how awesome he looks. And his tusks are massive. His horn is going to rip through every monster. Let me also do our Komodo dragon. That looks super scary. Okay, let's not stand too close to this guy. And let's not forget about our crocodile. Run! This is not going to be good. I'm pretty sure the Komodo dragon is going to try and poison us and eat us up. Ah, here he comes. Okay, how about we do our gazelle? Nope, this is not going to help. I think he's still after us. Maybe I can get him stuck inside this wonderful store. Quickly, let's rush through. <laughs> okay, I think we've lost him. But we're now down to one of our last few helps. This can't be good for us. Well, let me just keep on going. I'm perfect. Let me spawn my Tasmanian devil right around here. Along with a rattlesnake. Oh, I think he's playing dead. Maybe we should do the same. <laughs> Okay, let's go ahead and be super careful with this. Keep playing dead, Tasmanian Devil. You're doing a great job. But you know what? I might actually go ahead and take out the last few spawners. So let's go right back to the reception. And I think it's this way. And let's go and take out our last few items. Villagers, I've almost done it. But I do need to go inside the medit because we are running out of health right now. Let's see. Do they have anything for us? Villager, I, I think you're supposed to be the medic. But I don't see you have any items for us. Okay, this can't be good. Nope, this is not going to be great for us. Well, let me get out of here as fast as we can. Let me go ahead and take out the last few spawners, and hopefully we should be good. Don't worry, villagers. I'll take out every single one, but I want to make sure we have enough room to go ahead and spawn these guys. Well, let's rush back inside the zoo, and let's go and do this. Okay, I'm going to have to spawn a few of these guys in different biomes right now. Okay, I'm going to go ahead. Let me do a few of these random ones in different locations. And I've just realized our snow biome is the, right around here. Okay, let me go ahead and go inside the water one. I think that's going to be our best shot. Villagers, how do we get inside? Maybe that's why they've gone ahead and given us a few of these items. So we can go ahead and mine our way through. Is there an entrance down below? Nope. Well, guys, give me a second. I'm just going to build a little ladder so we can make our way up. Ah, here we go. Well, I think I'm now ready. Let's jump inside. I'm perfect. And let's go see what we can spawn. I'm ready to go ahead and do our wonderful orca. Whoa, it's massive. And look at it. It blends in perfectly. And I can already see he's trying to find a way out. Well, we should go ahead and spawn for him some wonderful friends before he tries to go ahead and eat us. Let me spawn our giant squid. <gasps> Whoa, both of these guys together look so crazy. Okay, I'm going to have to go ahead and do this as fast as we can. Let me also go ahead and do our mimic octopus that will go ahead and mimic whatever's on the ground. Let's see. Oh, I think he's turning blue. <laughs> this is awesome. I'm going to have to figure out what's going on around here. But I'm kind of scared we might mess up. Ah, and I think the mimic octopus is trying to go ahead and change colors right now. Well, let me also go ahead and do our lobster. And perfect. That is right around here. I can't wait to eat him later. And let's also do our tussling. Oh, what? What happened? Okay, I think something killed us, but I'm not really sure what it was. And I don't think we spawned a tussling in the right location. But you know what? Let me take out the last few spawners, and let's do this as fast as we can. I'm going to rush back, and let me go ahead and spawn a few items around here. Okay, I'm going to rush to a new biome, which I think should be right around the back. Ah, this one's perfect. Okay, it was right by the entrance. But now, how do we find the door? It should be around here somewhere. I've got to make sure we don't mix any dangerous animals with any peaceful ones. Because if we do, they could eat each other up. Well, okay, I think we might have to break something open. 
Okay, we're inside the panda enclosure, which I think is going to be pretty cool for us. I am going to go ahead and spawn a bison. I'm perfect. And look how awesome this guy looks. Maybe we can spawn some friends for him. Let's do the gorilla. <laughs> and look how insane he is. As well as the jerboa. Oh, this little guy. And let's not forget about our mud skipper that I think is going to be pretty cool. And then also we've got a catfish that I'm going to spawn right around here. There we go. And let's not forget about our seal that's going to fit in perfectly that I hope is not dangerous. And then right inside this water, I might go and spawn some other monsters. Let me see. So we've got a skunk, an anteater, platypus. Let's do our blobfish, raccoon, a rocky roller, and a flying fish. There we go. So let's do our skunk right around here that we've got to be super careful of. He's going to make everything everyone stink <laughs> oh no i think he's ill oh this is awful and let's do our anteater that's gonna fit in perfectly as well as our platypus and awesome and then our blobfish that is gonna look absolutely disgusting right now and let's not forget to go ahead and let's also do a raccoon as well as a rocky roller no that's not good Wait, he's going to kill all our monsters. This is not going to be good for us. Okay, maybe I need to go ahead and do this. Get him, gorilla. Get him. <laughs> Perfect. I think we need to keep on going. We've almost done this. Perfect and good. No, this is going to kill every single one of our monsters. Villagers, all of these mobs are well too confusing for us. Ah, oh, this is so sad. And we've just spawned them as well. Maybe we can hurry up as fast as we can though. And let's go and do the last few. So let me head to a brand new location in our zoo. And let's start spawning these mobs. So right around the back of the zoo, we do have normal mobs as well as normal villagers. Look at this. This is insane. I think I'm ready to go ahead and do this. But sadly, I don't know how to get inside. There must be a door around here somewhere, but I don't know where the opening is. So do you know what? Let me go and spawn our main wolf. I'm perfect. And let's also go ahead and do our alligator snapping turtle. Oh, they're going to fight each other. I'm sorry, wolf. Oh, this is awful. How about a seagull to make things better? Um, how about a rain frog? <laughs> All of these mobs are well too confusing for us. And let me take out a few more. I'm going to go ahead and spawn a cockroach, which is going to be absolutely disgusting. Ugh, gross. I'm so glad our seagull's getting out of there. And let's also go ahead and break this entrance right around here. And let me go ahead and spawn an emu, as well as a shoe bill, and then even a voodoo, which I have no idea what it is. Ugh. <laughs> is that some sort of owl? Okay, that's well too confusing for us. And let me go ahead and go to a brand new one around here. So I'm going to go ahead and inside the wolf's enclosure, let me spawn our hammerhead shark. No! Oh, we spawned it outside! I was meant to spawn it inside the water. This is all four of us. How about we go ahead and do our little flying fish? There we go. We were able to spawn in the water. How about our catch lot well? <gasps> It's massive! Okay, we've totally messed up right now. Let's get out of here before the villagers notice. Um, villagers, did you guys spawn that well over there? Okay, I don't think they're going to suspect is us. And right inside here, let me go and spawn... Let's see what else we have. I need some sort of enclosure that's got a big roof. Ah, right around here. So with the chickens, I am going to spawn something else. Um, or should we do it around here? Maybe this sheep enclosure would be way better. Here we go. Let me spawn our wonderful elephant. Perfect! And let's also do our terrapin. That's some sort of jumping frog. And then a moose. <laughs> this is so cool! I'm so glad we've got so many more to go. And let's not forget about do, do the next few. So I'm going to go ahead and break this glass. Let me do this blue jay. As well as our hummingbird. And then a snow leopard right inside. And then a sugar glider. And then a tiger. Oh no! <laughs> okay, I'm kind of hoping the donkeys might fight back. But I don't think they're going to do it. We could just go ahead and get some more donkeys. Maybe that could sort things out. What? What is that thing? He's trying to climb up. I'm hoping he's not dangerous. Okay, maybe we'll take out the last few and then we're completely done. And we can get out of here as fast as we can. Let me do the Galada monkey. I'm perfect. Along with our grizzly bear. And then our banana slug. Ugh, gross. And then even we've got a tarantula hawk, which I'm going to spawn right around here. And then an anaconda. Um, this is not going to be good for us. All of those monsters are well too confusing. Ah, it's trying to get out. Okay, let's get out of here as fast as we can. And let me just break this glass and let's go and spawn our last one. There we go. And guys, I think we've done it. We've gone ahead and saved all the villagers from getting ambushed by evil villagers that are trying to go ahead and see all of these animals. This is perfect. Well, guys, I will see you soon with a crazy Minecraft video. And don't forget to go ahead and comment down below which is your favorite animal that you would breed and tame and pretty much take home with you. 
So guys, I'll see you all soon with a crazy one, and don't forget to like this video, subscribe down below button is red, and don't forget to go ahead and post notifications bell. And guys, I'll see you all very soon. Peace out.